G'day, I'm Tom McShane and I'm the manager of the community NRM agency Bithmac here in the Burdekin in North Queensland. I'm here to tell you a little bit about this exciting project that we have recently initiated. The project is called an adaptive management approach to water quality in sugarcane. But before I go on, a bit of background information. I would like to acknowledge the funding agencies. This project was co-funded by the Queensland Government's Department of Environment and Resource Management through the Reef Protection Unit and the Australian Government's Reef Rescue Incentive Program, which was rolled out through the North Queensland Dry Tropics Regional NRM Group. The irrigation farmers in the Burdekin irrigation area are amongst the best in the world from a production point of view. The Burdekin farmers have shown both determination and innovation to overcome issues like soil solidity, low nutrient status of many of the soils in the Burdekin floodplain, and fluctuations in groundwater levels in the Burdekin Delta. The farmers and supporting agencies have addressed these issues and other issues to optimise the use of the natural resources available to them. In recent years, the rural industries along the coastal zone in North Queensland have been under increasing pressure to improve their performance in environmental matters as well. In the Burdekin area, the presence of Ramsar listed wetlands and our close proximity to the Great Barrier Reef have greatly put a focus on water quality leaving irrigation farms in runoff. Various water quality monitoring programs, such as BIFMAC's usually successful water quality pixel project, where over 200 farmers voluntarily participated in water quality monitoring program, have increased the farmers' awareness of the water quality issues and they've accepted the challenge and are responding accordingly. This project is just another step to build the capacity of the farmers in the Burdekin to understand how their on-farm practices impact on water quality and what they can do to improve the situation and reduce sediment, nutrient and pesticides from leaving the farm. The project promotes the adaptive management approach with a plan, do, check, act, cycle for improvement. The aim of this project is to monitor the key water quality parameters in the drainage system of a typical subcatchment in real time and to make these results available to the farmers in the subcatchment on a password protected website. The real time information will allow quick access to the data by the project staff and the subcatchment farmers. With the help of the BIFMAC project officers, any spikes or anomalies in the data will be pointed out to the subcatchment farmers and they will then be able to relate what they have recently been doing on the farm, which may have contributed to the water quality anomaly. The farmers will then consider options available to them to adjust their practices to reduce those losses from the farming system. This may be improving their water use efficiency to reduce runoff volumes or moving to a more stable or less mobile form of fertiliser. Ultimately, any decision to adjust farm practices will be the farmers. But we are confident that with the information provided through this project, they will be better placed to make informed decisions, which will ultimately result in better water quality in our downstream aquatic ecosystems and a better profile for the industry in the wider community.